All right, we got the, uh, <clears throat> if you watch my video about the fix for the auction sensor P11, still can't remember what it is, P1135, the uh, heater control mystery had the code. You can uh, go to that video, it's heater control, auction sensor heater control mis uh, mystery. It's, I don't even know why I called it that, it's not even really auction sensor, but some people still label it auction sensors, and everyone thinks it's auction sensor, so... That's why I labeled that it that, um, and I told you the fix was putting in the correct sensor, and that is the fix. But I just wanted to show that the difference of the sensors in the uh, ohms. This one right here is connected directly to the vehicle. The vehicle's cold at this moment. I've driven the vehicle for uh, two, three hundred miles, and the, the light hasn't came back on before I've come on within 30 seconds of driving. 10 seconds actually. So uh, I got it set right here on ohms. Um, so I'm going to get the, uh, we're going to go, this is the sensor side. This is going directly to the sensor. This is going down directly to the sensor. I unplugged it. I'm going to go see those two black wires. Those are for the heater circuit. I'm going to go in there. I'm just going to touch those two wires that go directly to the black. And then uh, I'll zoom you in so you, so you can see what the results are. If you can see that. Let's... So I got 2.5, 2.4. That's that's the one using the correct sensor, the one that's in the vehicle, the one that uh, did not set the code, the one that's good, the one that's supposed to be in here. This is the one that was in there. I'm going to test this one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go on those black wires, and... Uh, I'm going to test those two terminals, these two right here, that one and that one. Uh, just probe those two terminals together. And we're going to read the resistance of the the one that was in there. <clears throat> I'll zoom you up to that one. And I'm just touching those terminals right here. Just touching them. i got to set on ohms. I'm going to test, touch those two. And then we're going to see what we have. Lights went out. Come on. There you go. 4.94. So you can see the difference in resistance. I don't know if you can see that. It says 3.9 though. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know if you could see it. Let me try to. Stupid. One of the lights went out. Let's see, I'll just do it again just for good measure real quick. Just going against those two black leads. So we got four. Basically four. And that's on the sensor that was on the vehicle and it was set in the code. So about four. You're just gonna say four. It goes from three nine to four point one, you know. Temperature variations, it changes slightly with temperature, but uh it's hot out here. So this is uh, and I'm gonna do the one the sensor that's on the vehicle that that uh, does not set the code. So we'll we'll call the other one four four ohms. And then this one right here is two point five. So that's exactly why it sets the code because there's a difference in resistance. So that's why it sets the code. So uh, if you got like a earlier model. You got to make sure it, you check the resistance. If you have that code P1135, make sure you have the correct sensor. I'm probably going to actually write it on this this uh, write it in permanent marker on this uh, the resistance of the um, the two black wires. I'll write it probably right next to where it goes or something like that. But uh, that that's I'm showing you that's why it set the code because if there's a difference of resistance uh, and the computer is watching the computer is watching the amperage. And uh, there's going to be different amperage. Wow, that light just came back on. There's going to be different amperage. And uh, that's going to cause the computer to think something's wrong. So uh, anytime you're checking, 
put an oxygen sensor, you have anything having to do with oxygen sensor code or heater, the especially the heater circuit, you always got to make sure you check for resistance, make sure it has at least some kind of resistance so it's not shorted or it's not uh, open or whatever. Most time it's going to be open, which would give you zero resistance. It's going to look just like that or open on the uh, any other type of multimeter. And also if your fuse is blown or something, it would cause that problem. You wouldn't have uh, your voltage going to it and it would call, cause drivability issues also and a lot of people change oxygen sensors thinking it's uh, your oxygen sensor but in reality uh, fuse will blow for the heater circuit so make sure you check the heater circuit which is them two black wires in this case mostly if you have any wires that are the same out of the four wire sensors like these uh, it's going to be the ones that are the same like the two blacks some of them are two whites I think but uh, you want to check the resistance of the the sensor sign this goes down to the sensors check the resistance anytime you're having to do with the oxygen sensor or these uh these other sensors these air fuel ratio sensors lambda sensors whatever people call them different things all right thanks for watching comment rate subscribe